Hello and welcome to the new NIC EIC Cert software. This overview gives you a good understanding of how the software works and the benefits you get from the software. Remember, this software is only for the 18th edition certificates. When you log into the software, you're greeted with a certificate screen. You'll probably see it's blank if it's the first time you've opened the software. So the first thing you might do is purchase some certificates and download them. However, you don't need to do that at this particular stage because now you can create a new certificate and purchase and download the numbers at a later stage. So the first thing you might do is go to create cert and select the certificate you wish to create. In this case, we're going to go for the DPR 18. Just click next and you will see a nice blank certificate ready to be filled in. Now we're going to show you how the filling of the certificate is made easier and quicker by using pre-filled data, tick boxes and date boxes. For example, if you have client data in your database already, you can click on the magnifying glass on details of client and select that client. So for example, we're going to go Screwbox Limited and we're going to select that address. And now it's pre-filled all that address detail in. We're just going to show you how to do that with the details of contractor as well. Again, if you're already in the database, you can click on the magnifying glass, select your sales as the contractor, and then it will predefine that address. Now the next bit is the purpose of the report. So you might start putting in some text in here and you just simply type some information in. Now you also got date boxes where you will see a little calendar icon and you simply click on the calendar icon and select the date when a date box is needed. You will also see other boxes as well and you simply just click on those boxes and you'll be given a yes, no or non-applicable or if it's a tick box you might get a tick across or non-applicable as well. So it's really simple to fill in the certificate. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the observations and recommendations to just show you some predefined text that we've created as well for you. So if we go to page one of eight, you will notice you can select all your different pages, but we're going to select page two and we're going to say on the observations and recommendations, we're going to click a plus sign and we're going to select an observation, which we can do by clicking on the three dots on code and it will fill in that particular observation. Now what you can do is you can also click on there and fill in your own text if you need to. So you don't need to use those codes, you can fill in your own if you want to. Okay, so that's kind of how you might fill in a certificate really quickly to make it easier for yourself. Now the next bit that you might do is go to the circuit details page to fill in some circuit details. So if we click on the circuit details, you'll be given your first board, DB001 in this instance. If you wish to create new boards, you can click on the plus sign and create more boards. Now what we're going to do with this board is we're going to create some circuits so you can see how easy it is to create circuits. So where we've got key map, we've got these three little dots next to it and we can use the add using circuit wizard. And we simply just click on that. And for example, number of lines or phases is three, number of circuits is 10. I'm going to just drop that down to one, generate preview. And we've now got 10 circuits that we can create in our database. Now what I can do is I can select the type of wiring for that first circuit. Now if I want that type of wiring for all the other circuits, I can then use a shortcut key. Now your shortcut keys can be found in Keymap. So they are all F keys on your keyboard and we're going to use the F5 key, which basically will copy everything that I selected in this cell in the types of wiring, which is this H. All I need to do now is click the F5 on my keyboard. As you can see, that's filled it in. So you can see how easy it is to really quickly fill in your circuit details. So I'm just gonna go through some of the other things. So you can see there's some drop down boxes. Um, I'm also gonna to go to the protective devices and I can select a protective device by clicking on those three dots and selected it. And it's also put in some information about that protective device. Now, once you're happy with your circuit details and you've filled them all in, what you can then do is you can then apply a number to this particular certificate and then complete it. So to do that, you simply go to tools, apply cert number and select the number you wish to apply. And you select it and click OK. And that's now applied the number to that certificate. Just click on OK again and you will now see in the top left hand side of that certificate that number has been applied. Now the next thing you're going to do is complete the certificate and you simply just click on complete. 
it will lock the certificate at this point and you need to make sure that this is what you want to do and you simply say yes if that's what you want to do and that's completed that certificate. You can now print that certificate by going on print and clicking on original. If you just want to print one copy of that certificate, if you want to print a duplicate, you can print duplicate. If you just want to print the circuit detail schedule, then you can do by just clicking the circuit detail schedule. In this case, we're going to print original. So here it is. You can see that you've now got your certificate ready to print out to your printer by clicking on the print icon here, or you can save it as a PDF by clicking on the PDF icon, which is just here. On the right hand side, you can also tick for additional notes, notes for recipient, and also guidance for recipients on. Now we're going to close that and we're just going to go through how you might purchase certificates and how you might download certificates. So to purchase certificates, you can simply click on help, purchase certs and select the certificates you wish to purchase. This will then link you to the NIC EIC shop where you can then buy them. Once you've purchased those certificates, you can then download them. And to do that, you just simply click on view and certificate orders. And you will see the certificates that you have ordered and you can now download them by clicking the download order. Now I will note there is this button here, create certificates when downloading numbers. So if you're coming from the old software and you preferred the old way where it would create order certificates in one big lump, then you can tick that box and click download orders and it will do that for you. If you just do the download order, you can just apply the numbers as and when you like. Okay, so that is how you purchase and download numbers. Now, the rest of the certificates tab, you can do things like search for certificates by clicking on the search certs in the top right hand side. And you can search by cert number, company name or postcode. And you simply just click apply to find that certificate that you require. You can also filter your certificates by clicking on filter and you can filter by a date range if they're used or unused, what type of certificate, if they've been completed, are they void, have they been verified? And you simply just click on apply to do that. Now the next thing we're gonna look at is recent activity, and that just shows you what certificates you've been into recently, and you can double click and go back into that certificate and fill it in. Now the next tab we're gonna look at is address book. Now the address book is gonna list all the companies that are in your database, and here you can also add new companies as well by clicking on add company and fill in the data as required. So as you can see here, you can see telephone numbers and email addresses of that particular customer. You'll also be saying the notes. If you want to put notes about that customer, you can by clicking on notes. You'll be able to see all the certificates you've done for that customer by clicking on certs. You'll be able to add new site addresses for that customer and you'll be able to add any new contacts for that customer. And you'll also be able to link any documents for that customer as well. From here, you can also create reminders for that customer too. So you can click on the create reminder and it might be that you need to call them back. So we'll just quickly create a callback for that customer. And then you can also put how many days you want to be reminded before that day. So we're going to say 14 days. You can put notes in here for that reminder. And then when you're happy with it, you just simply click on OK. And that brings us nicely to the next tab, which is reminders, which will show you all the reminders that you have. At the moment, it's just showing reminders between these two dates. But you can filter that again. You can filter your reminders by clicking on filter and selecting the dates you want to use. If you don't want to use a date range, you can untick it, click apply. And it will show you all the reminders that you've ever created in that particular database. Now the next tab is templates. Now templates is really good because it means you can copy a previous certificate and apply it to a new certificate. Now these are some temp templates I've created earlier, but I'm just gonna go through how you create those templates as well. So to create a template, you simply go to certificates, select the certificate you wish to create a template for, and you simply click on tools and create template. You can then put in a category which you can type in yourself or if you've created some before, you can select that category. In this case, I'm gonna do small dwelling and I'm just going to put in a template name. Once you're happy with that, just click OK and your template will be created. So let's close that and go to the templates database and now you can see that your new template is here. Now what I can do if I want to create a new cert with that template, I simply highlight it and click on create cert. 
and it say would I like to open that certificate so I can choose where I want to start using it now or I can say no and use it later but in this case we're going to say yes and you can see it's filled in all the information from that previous certificate however it will not fill in the test results you must put in the test results again for that certificate okay that's it for templates now the last tab is support and this is a great place to find out how you can do things with the software so for example we have a getting started part you can go through them and learn a bit more about how to use the NIC EIC software okay that's it for the overview thank you very much for listening